I'd buy that for a dollar. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Huh. So we were going to report, or people were wanting us to report, that it was reportedly that Goonies 2 was, was greenlit with the original cast mm. returning. And I didn't take a screenshot of it for the longest time because the only thing we'd seen was really suspicious. Like it, it looked close enough to having the logo, but the letters weren't, the font wasn't exactly correct. I've got an eye for that shit. I steal fonts every week for our show. <laughs> and you said like, uh, that's fake. That's Photoshop almost immediately. And I'm like, well, I was just only asking you, <laughs> hey, Sam Raimi's involved with this? What do you think? And you're like, that's Photoshop. Yeah, it's Photoshop, and Sam Raimi would be like, uh, why are we here? Yeah. Um, and then I, I let it go until I see it on, like, Variety or Hollywood Insider, something like that. Um, and we've got another story similar to this right now that's on the Insider excuse me, in Snyder, in Snyder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the in Snyder is reporting that Jared Leto has been tapped to play Skeletor in the prime masters of the universe story. Yeah. Not confirmed. And I'm Thanks not going to report anything like thing. No, but we're going to talk about the rumors, but that's yeah. all they really are at this time. And so take everything with a pinch of salt, everybody, because this week has been flying fast with some of these wacky rumors. Yes. All I'll say about that is if Jared Leto is going to be Skeletor, I am out. I do yep. like him. He is a terrible actor. I don't care. He won a fucking Oscar. I don't care. I don't like him. I don't like him as an actor. Don't like him as a person. And you will lose me immediately if he gets cast as Skeletor. He's a terrible fucking choice. He can go back and do a Morbius sequel for all I care. <laughs> um, but none of those reports came out, and I finally see it on a repu reputable news site, KATV Channel 2 News from San Francisco, Oakland area, which from where Chad and I grew up, like if that was on the news, you'd be like, oh, shit. Channel 2 reported it. it must be true. They were cite citing their source as the sun. Yeah. Yeah. There's your problem right there. Chink. The sun. For those the United don't... Kingdom, the sun. <laughs> uh huh. For those that don't line their bird cages with fucking. <laughs> with trash news. <laughs> It's Britain's equivalent to the Inquirer. Like, yep. it's it's dog shit made up fucking trash. So for a reputable news station to make a report and cite their sources, The Sun, wow, you guys make way more money than us. Like, yeah, fuck y'all. Professional <laughs> clickbaiters is what those are. They've been around hey. longer than, than the internet. <laughs> Here's yeah. something else you got to think about, too. Not all the people who were in the Goonies are even acting anymore. No. Uh, no. Jeff Cohen, who played Chunk, he's a lawyer now. Entertainment lawyer. He actually Entertainment represents lawyer. some of the cast. From yeah, the represented uh, Ki Hoi Kwan. Got him a really good deal for um, everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And yeah. he's jacked to the gills too oh Dude, he is he works out and he's a beast so mm -hmm. he would probably even look remote if they did a sequel it'd be interesting to see how everybody comes together but you know Corey feldman just basically said we don't know shit about this we've been talking about it for 40 years you'd think they'd you'd think at least one of them would slip you know there might be something to that but we are nowhere near close is there any time they've ever come close to actually green lighting a goonies movie there's always been some of the cast member being like, yeah, there's an idea being floated around. We're waiting on Joel Silver or whoever it is for producers or scripts or whatever. But it's never come together. And it's already like 35 years too late for this shit. Yeah. It was a good standalone movie. Yeah, I don't think need come back. Yeah. Gen X needs this to feel good about themselves. Not a every video game. movie needs a sequel. Yeah. No. And this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but I think 
legacy sequels have gone way too fucking far. Yes. Uh, kind of. Stay Tron away from Ares. my last Starfighter and Night of the Comet, you dipshits. <laughs> well, see, I the mean, thing we... is, is when they started going full blast on reboots, they should have been going full blast on nostalgia sequels or mm -hmm. the legacy sequels. That's what they should have been doing while a lot of these actors still had, you know, remote hairline and what have you. And gas in the tank to do it. Mm -hmm. That too. You know, now they need de-aging processes and fucking <laughs> wire work and <laughs> body doubles. And it's not fair to the actor. It's really yeah. not. Like, right. do, do that stunt you did 35 years ago. Yeah, well, Indy, go go ahead, break another bone in your body, and then we'll yeah, do reshoots I, for another year. I was about to say, how many bones does Harrison Ford have to break on set? Drop a door on his fucking leg. Well, leave him in the past. <laughs> they dropped the Millennium Falcon door on his goddamn leg and broke it in Star Wars 7. Oh. Yeah, 7. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Leave, leave it in the 80s. Anyway. Hollywood is devoid of uh, creative juices anymore. Well, we've known that. Hey, remember that one now? movie or cartoon back then? I mean, I got something for us in a, in a minute I'm talking about 80s cartoons, but Jesus. Gummy bears. Oh. <laughs> Going here and there and everywhere. We are the gummy bears. Yeah, I know the fucking song. You're you're all fucking welcome. I got it stuck in your head now. Are you kidding me, dude? I've gotten my my youngest daughter addicted to the metal version, the frog leap metal cover of Gummy Bears, and she just like she doesn't oh, care about the show. A metal at, version? Oh, oh, oh I fucking God. love that guy. Yes, Leo oh. covers uh gummy bears and it's dope as fuck. He does that. You're gonna need to send me a link. I will. I just today I uh, caught his cover of Sledgehammer. Ooh, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, no, that guy's fucking good. Uh, Ducktales is another good, another mm -hmm. good video. Great shit. I need to go down another rabbit hole. Apparently, <laughs> I don't yeah. know about any of this. I'm going to send you guys down a rabbit hole. But. <laughs> He's got like 500 some videos on YouTube of that are covers, and mm -hmm. they're Damn. they're all amazing. His they're all cover of uh, Toto's Africa better than the original. Way better than the original. Like that dude is down in just. Africa. And then when he does it live, it's better oh, than yeah. the studio version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's way cool. Uh, Leo Maracchioli, I think his name is. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. I'm horrible at pronunciation, so I'm not even going to attempt that. Hey, all you had to say was Frog Leap. I had it right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know what? I can't, uh, I can't discredit this here. Uh-oh. Don't it's tell not... me there's a Darkwing Duck one. Not yet. But I am gonna have to look for that. Be still my ever beaten heart. <laughs> <laughs> Love fucking Darkwing Duck. But the moral of this story before we leave this is yeah. is it wasn't news until no. it was news that reputable news sites got suckered by the sun. And they even cited the sun as their source. Like <laughs> real. who no. the fuck is your editor these days? Like J. Jonah Jameson just fucking had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Harry White would have thrown you guys out the freaking top floor. Yeah, he would have been screaming, <laughs> "Great Superman, ghost!" at the tops of his lungs. If he was You're Superman, fine. he would have flown by now. <laughs> Jesus. So I re I reposted this. What 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 Corey had said basically that you know they're all still tight and not a single one of them have have heard anything. Yeah. And I re reposted that and said, and this is why we won't report anything on our show that's not been, you know, cited by an actual reputable news source first. And Corey like Variety, the Hollywood Reporter. I mean, you can call them shills, but they put out verified news. Yeah. Maybe the ones reporting this, not the sun. Exactly. And none of them were. So I was really sketchy on it. Mm. And 
Corey liked my tweet. So I was like, yeah, the Corey dug it. I will never do anything to put our show at risk of being called out by the Corey. I'm sorry. I nope. just won't. One of the two great Corys. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.